Welcome, guys. Back We're to back. The, we're back. Back we're to back. the Behind the Platform show. First one of the 2024 uh, CCOS season. New, stu- uh, new studio. New studio. New, studio. new setup. New Control new Chaos Open Series HQ. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. New comps. <laughs> new season. New lifters. New states. New us. Super excited. Um, how you guys been over the break? I've been really good since we uh, last had the... Um, podcast at Richmond. I've had a, a third child, um, and so life has been hectic since then. But it's starting to kind of come out the other side now that we're in February, I believe. Um, but yeah, really good. What about you, Alice? Um, not as crazy as that, but almost. Soon. Uh, yeah, soon, mm. soon, soon, soon. I am very pregnant with my second child. Twenty nine weeks feels like three hundred and thirty nine weeks. It's day seven hundred. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but that's been good. Apart from that, just toddler life. Prego life, doing some lifts when I can, doing what I can with what I can, and that's it. Nice. What about you, Josh? What about me? Mm. Um, yeah, well, I got married. That was fun. Went on a honeymoon. That was fun. Um, and got a new job. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, so it's been a it's been a massive uh, last few months, really. You guys, congrats to all of us. I we know. all have big news. <laughs> go us. Let Imagine us if go there is a fourth person and they're like, oh, yeah, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get all lonely and left out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so we didn't really get to recap the, the finals because yeah. I was getting married like seven days after the finals. So yep. my adrenaline had to come down for like, Two weeks. Oh, dude, so, how insane was it? It yeah. was so. I couldn't so even exciting. watch it back. I was like, I just need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what were some highlights? Let's go through some highlights. What were some highlights for you guys um, throughout the the finals? Oh, I'll go first. I reckon you can probably find some footage somewhere of Bart and I going off our bones about uh, Isabella and her. 120. Mm, Santa came to town. Click. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I remember I that. I mean, seriously, yeah. like the soul left the body. That like that lift was just unbelievable. Brought the house down. I think we saw a PB from her in the previous in one of the qualifiers yeah, 112. at 112. Yeah. And then eight kilos more. Um, and then as if I couldn't be any more jacked up on adrenaline, um, I've got to mention my boy Liam. Had such an epic six for six for Liam. Six for six. six. Ooh, PB the, the snatch. Comp. PB clean and jerk, PB total, yeah. um, and took out the 81s, and he took out the 81s in the like qualifier as well. So it was just again, there'll be some footage somewhere, but like I like I, I may have peed myself a little bit, but I can <laughs> yeah. say that because I'm pregnant. Um, but that was it for me. Like those two moments. I mean, yeah, that was awesome. On Bella, bloody, she hit. I think it was like 116 in training, and then posted it on Instagram, and I, like we were at the comp, and I was like, hey Bella, like. When you hit like massive PRs like that, this close to comp, like maybe don't show everyone what you can do. Yeah. And I was like, unless you're gonna hit 120. And she just smiled and she's like, maybe. And I was like, oh. <sighs> but it was so it was such a good lift too because it was like edge of your seat yeah, kind yeah, of lifting. Yeah. Like she was holding that thing overhead, trying to stabilize it for, I don't know, probably three seconds, but it felt like 45 seconds. It was just like so exciting to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that for me? Yeah, yeah. sorry. I was, I was literally picturing the lift as you kind of said that. And there was literally, the, she was dancing on the, the stage essentially to try to yeah. keep it steady, keep it overhead. Um, look, uh, we, uh, we had a bunch of lifters. I was excited. I got to compete myself. Uh, that was oh, really yeah, good fun. He competed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I got, I, got I, um, I competed. I played a lot of mind games and tried my best to outbeat someone who was physically stronger and more talented than I am. <laughs> Uh, and you, I got you started close. something you couldn't finish. Let's uh, yeah. be real. And look, that's what I do, right? That's, that's, that's the best way to do it is to kind of kind of throw the gauntlet down. He was younger and I figured that if my experience kind of came to the forefront, there was a possibility. But if he hit his best lifts, I hit my best lifts, he was always going to win. Uh, and we got close. Um, I think uh, I, I'd lifted, I think I, I attempted, I can't remember if it was 25 or 28, but I attempted a weight to put the nail in the coffin in the third attempt. 
but it was just too much on the day. And it was about 15 or 16 kilos more than I had done in training in the lead up. Uh, and I think Sam had the exact opposite. He'd done very heavy weights in training and whether it was the cut or whatever it was, it was um, it, it just uh, didn't work that well for him except for the fact he got the win. So mm. um, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, uh, which was great and it was a really good battle and, I, and we both agreed that we'd go up to 81s next year. So Liam, oh, coming out. Um, not that my training's going well at the moment because I've <laughs> oh, you gotta, had yeah. a child and <laughs> you whatnot. You have to sleep first. Um, but uh, so moving from myself, uh, obviously I'm very biased, Holly, uh, Mari, and even Keiki, um, they're in the final female session. I think the female session was just the highlight. That was lit. That whole session was um, lit. But like I, I – and not to, like I will actually – no, I'm taking it away from the A session, the, the boys' A session. I think the B session that I was in, obviously because I was in the back room, it was just electric. Um, yeah. Having a lot of those guys, having um, – yeah, so many CrossFitters that I had done CrossFit with I ha- and now we're all in this back room, it was just – uh, it was so fun to be a part of from every element, from the commentating to the competing and to the coaching. Um, so, But I think that what takes the cake is the females stole the show. Mm. And I, I, w- I wouldn't necessarily call that even the B session. Like you called it the B session, but it was just the lighter weight divisions, right? Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. it was that those battles in that weight division was was unreal um yeah. i got some really good commentary from you downstairs i remember with the um you don't even remember it by the looks of it nah, but you said some different place <laughs> <laughs> to my body yeah. <laughs> um but like it was just it was just super cool um to kind of see that that competition in, in nearly every single session kind of yeah. throw down right yeah mm. Yeah. Mm. It was um, just good vibes, wasn't yeah. it? Like every, even the lifters you were competing against, like people really wanted to win, but they were also celebrating their competitors' good lifts as well. Like yeah. it was that perfect kind of mix of camaraderie, <laughs> but also like I want to, I want to beat you too. Oh, hundred percent. And I also think, and and you kind of alluded to it there, B session, not B session. The first session that we commentated as well, people didn't realize they were in the running. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Until you go downstairs and you're like, uh, due to a bombing that puts you guys in a good place here if you can beat X. Um, and, you know, we did. We saw winners of divisions as early as session one in the day. Yeah. And we saw great lifting in session one. We saw people push. People weren't really just like, oh, I'll just hit a total. We saw, um, I think it was Pat tried to push for PBs and it didn't work out. But that's what you want to see in a big final competition. And Alex, mm. um, I can't remember his last name, but Alex um, in the 67s, he was in the first session of the day. Dan bombed in the last session of the day, which means he slipped into the podium position. Yeah. And he was stoked. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. A, that's so cool. He went out there, lifted his best, and, and that was that yeah. was super cool. Uh, no one see. likes to see bombings, but like when you're watching the competition from afar, you kind of like to see it, right? Because it makes it interesting. <laughs> it's like a car crash. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can't look away and I sort of Sorry, feel Dan. bad. But it's sort of good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's... Uh, it's definitely it was definitely an awesome competition. It lived up to I think it lived up to the hype that we kind of talked it up yeah, um, leading into it, which is what you always want, right? Like you don't yeah. want to talk up. I was so nervous talking up this competition so much and then for it to be a it flop. It was so good. But no, yeah. it was it was awesome. We had an amazing uh viewership on KO, which was just unreal to be able to see. Yeah, I love that. Um I had but, people messaging me that I haven't seen in years being like is that you? <laughs> and it's me in the Pacers uniform in the back room I was coaching at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so people were just tuning in that have no idea what weightlifting mm. is and being like, what the heck is this? I have friends that are powerlifters. They've never done weightlifting in their life. Um, they've just had a baby as well. So they had, they had us on the screen. And now she's like, hey, like I'm like, mm. I'm like See, that's that. the And let me tell you. This girl that I'm talking about weighs like 55 kilos and squats 140. So wow. I was like, can you though, please? Yeah. <laughs> but not in my weight class. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I mean, we did talk about this earlier, right? So like going into the 2024 season, you're planning to give birth soon. That's, yes, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. And then your plan is to do two qualifying events. Yes. And still potentially, hopefully qualify for the finals at the end of the year. That's a pretty big year for you. Yeah, I think so. I think um, just based on my recovery from my last child, and I am doing a little bit better in pregnancy in terms of staying fit. I was a bit of a blob in my first one. So um, the plan is to do two weight classes. So I'll compete as a 76 as I'm kind of coming down from this status. Um, And then I'll compete as a 71. And then I'm literally just going to pick the one that I think I can win for the finals, assuming I uh, assuming I qualify in both, and I think there's going to be some people out there that are going to do that too. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think they kind of saw what happened last season, right? And it was like, hey, yeah. let's let's Options. try and like hedge our bets here a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, but I I know that there's going to be some some amazing lifters coming out of the woodworks, and um, I've kind of been to a couple CrossFit competitions and and talking to some lifters to get down, and and there's some incredible lifters out mm. there. That, oh, that and there's so much time, right? About doing and so lifting, many qualifiers. Right? Yeah. Like you can oh, so really many, play your cards. So this many year. qualifiers this year. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's get into the calendar for next year. So. Um, we have the calendar up on screen now, as you can probably see. So we're kicking off with the Iron Tribe competition, 17th of Feb, um, straight into Melbourne West, um, Barbell Club um, at the end of March, and then Friday Night Lights again. Um, we already have seven people on the list to enter that competition. The oh, day really? Happens. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been messaged from people all around Australia, being like, "Hey, when is it?" I want to book my tickets to get down now. That's so That's cool. That's so cool. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, that is awesome. How good was the atmosphere though? Oh, like it was, was, it was like nothing yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it was so good. Unreal. And I think every competition brings its own atmosphere, you know, like its own yeah. different Absolutely. atmosphere yeah. for different, yep. different um, All got point occasions. Different yeah, strokes totally. for different folks, as they say. <laughs> and then we have <laughs> um, the Masters Champs, which is going to be super, super cool. I think it's going to be one of the biggest competitions of the year. I agree. I'm excited for this one. Is there a potential for a two-day competition? That's what I want to know. Oof. Or would you cap there's entries? A, there's always a potential for yeah. two-day competition. Mm. Like yeah. Us masters need a day in between to like, you know, <laughs> just relax a little bit. And so we're <laughs> going to release more information soon about the um, qualifying, uh, sorry, the age groups for that and the uh, weight divisions for the uh, masters competition. Yeah. So, um, stay tuned. We'll, we'll announce more information about that coming soon. So awesome! Um, forward to it. Yeah, but that's one that's we're going to really try and put a lot of effort in for the masters for that one. It's going to be, be really, really cool. Um, and that's at CrossFit Richmond as well. And that's like right in the middle of the year yeah. too. And that's you perfect. can still qualify for the finals with this one. Yeah, that was a question I asked because mm. yeah. I've got a few masters that will do that because they want to be competitive in that. That by then should be hitting their stride for a potential chance to make the finals. Totally. Mm. Yeah. And then we have the Create Fit Partner Cup, which, Cup, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, um, we already, already have so many people um, here at Create Fit that are super keen to do it. And, awesome. and um, I was talking to Dan um, from Unity that he's going to have a few people down and um, to, to do it as well, which is going to be super it's cool. It's the yeah. easiest one to convince people that are on the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I've got a friend they're doing it with, even though it mm. is essentially the same as a normal competition, just having someone that you get to stand beside in your warm-ups, it makes the world a difference. And 100%. stay tuned because we actually might have another partner competition nice. being announced mm. very, very soon. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Not to well. mention the peer pressure. Like <laughs> Love peer pressure. Someone's decided they it's want you to be their partner. Guys. Yeah. It's gentle bullying. Good luck saying no. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the Queensland, the CCOS Queensland chance. This is super eh? exciting. <laughs> Can I just say, Josh... You messaged us last night saying, hey, like we probably chat about this sort of stuff in the pods. And you mentioned something about the Queensland thing. And because I'm like, I've got baby brains. I'm not that intelligent. I'm like, do I, am I supposed to know anything about this? <laughs> like, okay. And just yeah. pretend to, you know, fake it till you make it. But I've got no idea what you're talking about. No, well, Pray not, tell. It's not announced right now as we do the podcast. But by the time the podcast is released, everyone's going to know about it. It's going to be super fun. Um, it is going to be uh, in collaboration with Milton Weightlifting Club out of Torian, mm. um, CrossFit Torian. So as Only you, the biggest uh, weightlifting competition in the... I'd say the world. I, this is the most favorite one I've, I've enjoyed watching in recent years. CrossFit? The CrossFit. Torian Pro. Yeah, yeah, CrossFit, yeah. yeah. You see a weightlifting mm. competition. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They host CrossFit. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh. It's really good CrossFit. Mm. It, they do really do cr CrossFits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Queensland's got such a um, weightlifting culture oh, up yeah. there too, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And I think it's going to be... It's going to be super cool. So we've been working with the guys um, out of Milton um, to put this on and, and they're super excited um, to be a part of it. And so... Um, it's just going to be a great opportunity to get more athletes involved in CCOS and potentially qualify for the finals. That and is so kind cool. Kind of shake it up as we go. And there's going to be the second to last qualifier of the year as well. So um, people, Ooh, people in shake it up. are going to be able to shake things That's up. Right? Shake it up. Yep. Blackburn will literally be as full as you can as you can get after that because people will be like, oh, God, I'm going to compete really, again. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. I think we're actually capping entries on that Blackburn competition. Okay. So yep. make sure you get in for that one if you have to. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. your last see, chance. You listen to this now. And then probably that time of the season, you're going to be completely. You're going to completely forget what we just talked about yeah, in this we'll podcast. But we'll we'll, we'll, we'll remind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Sign we up, gotcha. guys. Sign we up got this. Yeah. Don't worry. 
And then Blackburn competition is going to be one week after it. Yeah. So one week after Queensland, we're going to come back down and mm. do it all again at CrossFit Blackburn. Yeah. Um, that was one of my favorite competitions last year was the CrossFit Blackburn comp. Yeah. Um, so many awesome... Yeah, good uh, atmosphere, lifting. good food, good yeah. lifting. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. awesome. Queensland will put something out. Victoria will respond. Yeah, how that's we like it. it. Will, that's we, will we see a state of origin? Mm. Oh, yeah. How good would that be? <laughs> yeah. Coming into the 2024 season, we have the first ever champs, right? We have the first ever CCOS mm. champs. The inaugural? Tessa, yeah. Tessa um, and uh, William. Well, yeah. Yeah. Are they going to go back to back? They could. <sighs> yeah, I mean, obviously they can, but I think like uh, the finals... Put a f- the finals put a fire in Holly. Obviously, she's got a job to do first in her CrossFit, but um, that was our second competition working together. So uh, I, there is definitely a lot more room on the table for Holly. Yeah. Um, but as you said, like having been involved in weightlifting as long as I have, there are some animals in in, in Queensland. Mm. And then there's also the unspoken CrossFitters that, as you said, you were at a CrossFit competition the other day. Um, there's a young girl at Wolf Den that I think cleaned about 102 kilos. There was two two females that lifted uh, cleaned over 100 kilos. Yeah, that local CrossFit competition. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like there are a lot of like, and you know, what it's like we've been involved in both worlds for so long. There are some so many people that are like, oh, I mean, I don't think I do that well. Yeah. And they would be mm. like elite. Um. So there's it's it's hard to say. Look, obviously Tessa is a an absolute superstar, and will I'm assuming won by a, an absolute landslide. Um. But time but will tell. I think. I think there's people out there that could potentially beat Will. Not taking anything away from Will. Will did an amazing job. Obviously, if he puts up the 200 kilo cleaning jerk, no one's beating him. Yeah. Mm. Right? But if he has a slightly off day, mm. like Dan didn't bomb. If Dan didn't bomb, that's Dan had a very legitimate shot at taking out yeah. that, yeah, that yeah. Sure. Uh, top spot. And then people like Isabella, like they're, yeah. that are PBing so often at the level that they're already at in terms of strength. Like it just makes you if you project forward another year, like we like yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and, and and there's just gonna be so many more lifters that we just don't know about. One in Queensland. Mm. Um, there's gonna be potentially lifters come down from New South Wales, hopefully as mm. well. Um, so I think there's it's just gonna be a completely different season. Yeah. Um, and to be able to watch the growth this season is gonna be super, super yeah. cool. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bring it on. Um, but what does it mean to have an a, a competition up? In Queensland, a CCOS competition. I mean, uh, for me, one of the biggest things I like is the, the best way to start a, a movement is you need someone to follow. So Victoria, obviously, yourself, Create Fit um, family have started and have launched and are pushing it in the state and it's got momentum. But now with Queensland coming on board, the question is who's next? What state next is going to reach out? You know, is it going to be WA? Is it going to be New South Wales? Is it going to be Tasmania? Like, what state wants this next? Um, and um, I think that'll come from the lifters within those states driving it, and then eventually you'll have a club reach out because I think that's that is the, that's that's how it eventually does become a national competition, and, and the finals aren't just you know one state; the finals are Australia wide. Mm. Mm. So. And it's just that uh, it's an extra element of unknown, right, for lifters and coaches. Like if you think or you're going to take an educated guess that you need to put up x amount of total no you no you don't you don't know shit <laughs> no yeah um sorry you don't know bib um <laughs> because you know we don't know these athletes like yeah. we might know some of them but we certainly don't know all of them in queensland and yeah. um you don't know if you're going to miss by one kilo you don't know if you're going to um someone's going to bomb like we don't yeah. know and also do they come down for the final this is this is exactly it, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Mm. are they going to travel down for the finals? Yeah. Potentially, they've um, had the AWF champs and all this other stuff that they've had to travel for throughout the year. So, will they come down? I hope so. I mm. hope a lot of those Queensland athletes come down for the finals because it's mm. going to be such an event um, for, with with these. I tell finals. you what, if I was an interstate athlete and another state was running this like fairly new but really exciting kind of competition, I would just love to. Just stick it, stick it up yeah. them a little bit, and and like go there and dominate. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't have the means to do that because I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a top tier lifter. But <laughs> I'm just saying, if I lived in Queensland and I could, you know, snatch fifty more kilos than I can and clean and jerk sixty more kilos than I can, <laughs> I'd be doing it. <laughs> I feel like you'd be going everywhere. And yeah, just yeah, true. Where's true, the money? True, Show true. me the money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe a bit less, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Look, I think it's just gonna 
breed more competition, right? Like, mm. yeah. like Tessa, That's Holly, um, Essence, all those yeah. lifters down here. Isabella down here. Even Got Mari. Her. Mari. Yeah, Mari. 66, yeah. 75, 100. Like, yeah. I messaged her, messaged her the other day. I'm like, there is no way you don't clean and jack 110 kilos. I you? just yeah. watched her yeah. uh, yeah. deadlift 180. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's I just messaged her. I'm like, impressive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could deadlift 180. Yeah. yeah. I've only deadlifted 180 once in my entire life. There that's my yeah. one remaining. I can probably roll 180 off the platform. Yeah. If I want yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, super strong. And, and I think more competition like that is going to breed more competition mm. and, and mm. higher level lifters um, throughout the throughout the series. And I hope more and more lifters get involved and kind of see the value in competing alongside these lifters and really try and push themselves. Mm. Mm. And I think that, that what we can't overstate is just how much fun it actually is. Yeah. As someone yeah. that got to experience both elements of it, I can say that all of the lifters that lifted from, from my club loved the experience, whether they were first timers right the way up to people that were contending for podium spots. Um, but just the back room was just so much fun. Like it's such a fun experience to do so. And I think like, you know, not just looking at when we go to Queensland, Queensland weightlifters, when we go to Queensland, Queensland CrossFitters. Yes. Mm. Like I don't know any Queensland CrossFitters personally, unless they've competed at Torian. I only know, and like you said, the local CrossFit company went to the other day had – so many unbelievable mm. athletes. You know what I think as well? Like nobody should be looking at this though and and seeing all these different states and like high numbers and whatever and, and thinking that whatever they put up is not good enough to compete. Yeah. Um, like I was on the drive over here, I was thinking about, you know, especially the Iron Tribe comp, which is perfect for, um, you know, those beginners or, or rookie yeah. weightlifters. Like – before I started competing, you know, I was almost embarrassed to tell my coach that I wanted to compete because I didn't feel like I had numbers that were competitive. Like, but that's just not the case at all. Like, you have fun at these comps no matter what level you are. Like, I don't care if you're throwing up an empty barbell. Sign up and just get involved because it's so much fun. 100%. And go on, on that, your competition is coming up first, Chris. Yeah, two um, weeks. Yeah, two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks away now. Tomorrow, so, yeah. um. Tell us a little bit about it. How, are you excited for it? Oh, look, I'm super excited for it. We, uh, we've already had members of mine reaching out, volunteers and even um, uh, ex-members and current members and remote members are all looking forward to helping. Um, and look, the big thing, I think all of the CCOS is, is an essence of what I want to do with the Iron Tribe competition. But the one the thing that I like about the Iron Tribe competition is for those that, like someone like Holly, this gives her an opportunity to compete before she gets really into the CrossFit season so she can tick a box and potentially qualify. Maybe not with other lifters coming in. But, but it gets a number on the board, It right? gets a number on the board. But then also, like the main target that I would love to come to these competitions is... Uh, first timers mm -hmm. is people that have are unsure as to what the experience is going to be like. I think it's a really good opportunity, mainly because um, uh, I mean I, I only know myself, but I, I I love welcoming new people to the sport. I, I love mm. introducing them to the sport and showing them that nobody cares what weights on the bar. Mm -hmm. Like if you see like when it's a battle, no one remembers the weights that were lifted. They just remember the one mm. and the one kilo. Yeah. And the fans will celebrate like Any a lift. 25 Any kilo lift. PB 100%. as well as like a 180 yeah. Yeah. kilo lift yeah, from, yeah. from William in, yeah. you know, session, whatever. Like it's about the effort. Yeah. And I think that's something that like even when we did Controlled Chaos Iron Tribe many moons ago, um, we would, I Did would you see that trophy up there? Uh, yeah, I've already pointed it out. I'll be stealing that. You forfeited this <laughs> he year. He said he's putting it in his <laughs> car um, after this. Yeah. We came to battle and he's like, no, I'll just sell my gym. I don't want to compete against you ever again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, like going back to the first timers, if you're the person that is like, uh, I'll do it when I get stronger, I'll do it when I'm ready, mm. you will never do it. Mm. Because you'll always just look at others, look at others, look at others. And at the end of the day, like once you get a few competitions on the – once you get used to the competition, you – um, I should say that again. Once you start competing, you will realize it takes a few competitions, four, five yeah. competitions to learn what you are like on the platform. Yeah. I'm, I'm someone that uses the energy from the back room. I have lifters that want to don't even look at me, don't even talk to me. Uh, and you have a different variety of people that have figured out over a multitude of competitions who they are on the platform and what they want out of it, right? Mm. So I think if you're someone that's a bit, um, you know, I'll do it when I'm ready, trust me, the, the sooner that you can do it, the more fun you'll have. Because There's no minimum that you need to be putting up to exactly. compete no, in this. No, exactly no. right. I think like it, it's also one of those things of wherever you start, if you start uh, uh, how I would start people, Josh would start people, and I'm assuming Alice would start the same, is let's say your best is 50 kilos. 
I'm not letting you hit 50 kilos in your first competition. I want you to get used to being on the platform and then it's going to be this slow and steady incremental gains and then you can feel the wins, you can feel the losses and then you learn and it's, yeah, I'm very, very excited for it. And it's part mm. of the sport too, right? Like being able yeah. to get out there onto the platform and just from competition to competition, like watch you grow as an mm. athlete and like mm. you said, there are wins, there are losses, more personal than like actually like winning on a podium or anything mm. like that, especially when you start out. Yeah. Um, but, you learn from every single Everyone. one of those, and and um, it would be pretty rare yeah. to find a lifter, any lifter from the CCOS last season that was like, "Man, I regret doing that." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wish I did less. Yeah, and yeah. look, the last thing that I'll say with that is like, um, with weightlifting, there are a lot of wins in your first kind of six to twelve months because you're you're learning, and uh, and I know it feels difficult in learning, but like the PBs come relatively frequently, and it's similar on the platform. You almost need to compete a lot of times to actually realize that like, ah, this is the enjoyment. The enjoyment is it's getting tough. Mm. I actually have to focus on what I need to learn. And the mm. competition is the best place for that to highlight is what do I need to work on? Oh, I kept accidentally power snatching it. Well, we need to probably work on X or Y. So mm. um, look, and then the, the last kind of main reason is for it is like just make new friends. I think by the looks of the competitors that we've got signed up, we, we have a lot of people spread out. These are people that if you do... You know, even if you just support at competitions, you will see these people throughout the year. I never met Sam before. Um, I competed against Sam him, Butcher. Sam Butcher, and uh, now like love him to death. Look forward to a, a future battles moving forward. Mm. Um, and same as everyone else that we competed against, mm. right? Liam, I didn't know Liam before the CCOS. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I think yeah, very very excited for it. If you're someone that is on the fence, if you're a beginner. I almost reckon the least amount of preparation you can give yourself, the better, because then your expectations are really low mm. and it gives you the most amount, of, most amount of chance to have fun. Do you know where I think, this is unrelated to anything you just said, <laughs> but do you know where I think is going to be the most movement, like which weight class is, there's going to be the most competitive movement in this year versus last? In Liam's? The 81s, yeah, come yes. Come on, baby. And probably... probably and Probably the two weight divisions that were went around last year. Those <laughs> you, can, you can add those to the Butterfold. list. <laughs> um, definitely the eighty ones. I think people, Liam, Dal, people are coming for you, and they're coming <laughs> hard. Um, and then also uh, the seventy ones, my weight class. I think um, yeah. that is an untapped weight class, and I think it's um, last year might have been a little bit of a easy little cruise into the finals, but not not this year. I think it's just going to be hard to qualify for the finals. Yeah. Yeah, period. Well, I know this is probably an answer you don't necessarily have. Would you boost it to ten, boost it to twelve? Like, what's your? Not theory? this year. Okay. This year we're sticking with eight okay. um, across mm. all weight divisions. Yep. Um, but the potential is there, right? Yeah, like, okay. if we if we get that growth this year, then we could potentially grow it out to um, twelve lifters um, qualify, uh, which would be ideal, right? Then you have. Each weight class has its own session as opposed to having to merge Ooh, weight that'd classes. Be, that'd be mm. amazing. That, that would be so, so cool. cool, right? Like mm. t maybe top three, four lifters in each weight class going head to head. Like it's that's what you want to see yeah. in weightlifting. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um, not this year, but definitely okay. on that's the cool. cards. Yep. Um, yep. We want to grow the sport. We want to we want to push it, uh, push the limits of it, mm. and. Um, I think having a barrier for the finals to yeah, try absolutely. and push it is, is really good. So mm. I think having a competitive year this year is going to be really, really beneficial for the sport and for the athletes and then be able to um, like ex extend that um, potentially in, in following years. Mm. Mm. So a question for you guys as coaches, if you have a lifter that's coming back this season, what are you recommending for them in terms of what the year looks like? How many qualifiers are they doing? Of course, it's going to be very individual to the athlete. Yeah. How many qualifiers are they doing um, and how are they spacing those out? Well, at the moment, because we have a list at the gym of all the competitions and we're starting, we're starting to write down names for who will be competing at what competitions, I'm actually almost marrying them up based on personality. Yeah. Um, so I've got a bunch already, like as I said, I've got about seven or eight lined up for Unity and, and, and a lot of them are first timers as well because I just reckon they'll... They'll chew it up. They'll eat it up. Mm. And then I'm pushing a few beginners to my one um, that are probably looking for something a little bit more quieter. It'll still be good atmosphere, but just a very – it's like a – I won't call it a Saturday lunch, but it just felt kind of nice yeah. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Um, and then uh, obviously Blackburn is definitely earmarked for those that are like wanting to make the final. Like that is mm. – that's almost a must for some athletes. Um, and that might change, right? Like they might have not planned to do it and then they're like, oh, yep. no, yeah. Yeah, so it's, in the yeah. so it's in the calendar that as a club will be – 
aiming towards at yep. the very least. And then the partner's comp is for those that are like 50-50 because it's an easy way to get someone to convince to do something is give them a friend mm. and go do it. So yep. that's how we've kind of – I haven't necessarily marked it out in terms of have to, have to, have to. It's more like what is the, what's the experience going to be like for the athlete because mm. – I know how much I love the sport and I feel like doing it this way gives them an opportunity to fall more and more in love with the sport, which then gives people the opportunity to give back to the sport at the same mm. time. Mm. I think like having potentially, depending on how new you are to the sport, two or three qualifiers like to get get under the belt, like kind of get yeah. get into the groove of things. Um, having an earlier competition, so the Iron Tribe or Melbourne West one, um, they are going to be much smaller competitions and really good opportunity for lifters to get involved. Um, and then potentially if you're a master, getting into that master's competition and, and seeing what you can do there or the partner competition um, or Friday night. Like there's just so many mm. fun competitions, yeah. right? So it's just um, – just teeing up when you can but i reckon two or three qualifiers really for a new lifter would yeah. be really good for someone like holly or or dan that that potentially could put up some big numbers and, and just sit there happily for most of the season um that potentially won at the start of the season train all season um maybe do another fun one or, or something like that and yeah and then mm. tee up for the finals mm. yeah yeah that's that's essentially for holly that's the plan hopefully get this first one on the board and then work out do we want to try and take the fight to Tessa? Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. they were different weight Oof. classes last time. Um, so, uh, yeah. That'd yeah, be awesome. fun to see if, if yeah. they're in the same weight division. That's what we wanted at Blackburn last year. That's what we wanted. <laughs> well, now she's got a coach that'll help her with the cutting because she tried to do that herself and yeah, it's tough. Wasn't, wasn't used to When there's CrossFit, you don't why, – why, why would you cut? Yeah, yeah, mm. for sure, for yeah. sure. But um, I think that's pretty much it that was for really – for the first podcast of the season. Oof, so it's going to be huge. It's going to be Woo! such a big season. Um, I do want your opinions, though, guys. This tabletop, this whole desk actually is made out of our old platform. Um, oh, from, from RIP, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it really? So you can still see, I think you can still see, like, um, like um, chunks missing. Delilah's blood over there Oy! or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we don't have like, an OHS team we, here. Do we paint it? Do we leave it as is? Um, we're actually building a, a a desk for the commentators as well for the live stream, which is going to be really oh, cool, out so of the cool. old platform as well. So yeah. oh, that's cool. just kind of reusing all that. But do we paint the top? Do we do we like it? Um, we're going to be redoing this a little bit. We're going to continue building onto it. Mm. So it's going to look different. We're going to put something here and it's going to look really cool. Maybe put a pole up or something. My a vote pole? is like a pole, you know, P-O-L-L, like they, they, people can vote. On Instagram. A poll. A poll. Mm. Yeah, I was like, oh, come on, Josh, you boomer. Do you don't know what a poll is on Instagram? Oh. Um, this for me, though, is like, it's got the soul, doesn't it? Oh, like, yeah, I wouldn't say paint this. Yeah, you keep it the same I, I just want to like, try and rub some yeah. lifting juju off into myself for this season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where anyway. we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks, guys. Um, we will be back next week, actually, to um, preview the um, Iron, Iron Tribe competition. Comp. Yeah. We will have a schedule out very soon for that, and then Start List will be out the following week, so the week of the competition. You'll so we're going to come around quick. Yeah, it's yeah, happening. Yeah. We're here. It's all, it's all, it's all yeah. happening. Yeah. Right now. Too easy. <laughs>